Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 3rd of 2023. Well, it is titled Centaurus A, a peculiar island of stars. So what do we see here? Well, this is the galaxy known as Centaurus A, and it's a very unusual galaxy because it has some structures associated with a spiral galaxy. And we can see that distinct dust lane stretching across uh, the middle of the galaxy here. And we also the rest of it seems to look like an elliptical galaxy. Now what it actually is, is both of those at once. It is actually two galaxies in the process of collision. So an elliptical galaxy and a spiral galaxy that are in the process of colliding together and merging to form a larger galaxy. So this again happens all the time and happened even more in the early history in the, of the universe, as that is how galaxies built up from the very small galaxies that existed shortly after the Big Bang to the much larger spirals and ellipticals that we see today. So that gives this its unusual uh, a shape and structure. And it's also what we call an active galaxy. Now an active galaxy will differ from an ordinary galaxy in two ways. In one way, it will be brighter, it'll give off more energy overall. And in another way, it will give off non stellar energy. For the most part, if we look at the light emitted by a galaxy, it's really the combined light of all the stars. So it's emitting a lot of visible light, not so much x ray and not so much radio light. However, active galaxies tend to give off a lot of these extremes, a lot of x rays, and a lot of radio emission are associated with them, because of all of the activity going on with that collision. Now what happens to give it all this energy is of course the supermassive black hole at the center. And in this case, it is a it is a much bigger supermassive black hole than we have at the center of our own galaxy. At the center of our galaxy, we have a black hole about 4 million times the mass of our sun. The supermassive black hole involved here is more than 10 times larger than that 55 million times more massive than our sun. And as material spirals into that black hole in an accretion disk around it, it generates a lot of energy, it gets heated up to high temperatures uh, that can generate things like x rays, and it can spiral material out in jets that are funneled by a magnetic field. And as particles spiral along those magnetic field lines, they are accelerated and can give off radio energy as well. So many of these active galaxies were first detected because they were unusual in that they were emitting radio waves, which is not typical for galaxies uh, for an ordinary galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for May 3rd of 2023. It was site titled Centaurus A, a peculiar island of stars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be black hole revisited. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.